Hi folks, so this video is all about intention or how we create working tension in our muscles when we're doing basic weight training exercises. At BD, if you follow us at all, you'll know that we use very, very simple training methods, simple equipment so that our clients can join us at home and be part of the community here. So for the most part with dumbbells, we're using simple adjustable dumbbells or a kettlebell or bands for resistance. Now, to get the most out of their training, they must understand applying tension. And the easiest way of looking at that is, if I'm doing a biceps curl up and down, if I'm pulling the bar up through mud, that idea, and then pulling back down through mud, so I'm tensing the biceps as I pull up or work on the concentric phase and I'm tensing the triceps as I pull back down working on the negative or eccentric phase then the muscles are really starting to engage and I'm starting to know what muscles I'm really trying to target in my training. So that's a very very simple starting point for you. You then apply the appropriate time under tension and load specific to what your goal is. Now for many of our clients, we use a timer which is 40 seconds on and it's either a two to one work to rest ratio or a one to one or a one to two. So that means it's 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, which will build more lactic acid. 40 seconds on, 40 seconds off, and that gives us more chance to recover when we're using heavier loads. Or if we're using very heavy loads, it's 40 seconds or even a bit less when we're working and then double the rest period of around 120 seconds or even more again in some cases when we're working with very, very strong uh, athletes, etc. But all the time we're applying tensions within those so that idea of pulling and pushing through mud is key and the tensions are dictated by tempos and we may have an even tempo of two up, two down. We may go one up, three down, so we work a longer phase on the lowering or the eccentric part. We might put in isometric pauses within that tempo. But all of that is left to the coach's discretion as to what the, be the best practice is to get the results that the client is looking for. Okay, if you found that information helpful, please do subscribe, give us a like. If you have any questions, fire them in below. And look out every Monday, we're going to be posting in a new training tip for you on YouTube.